born on the wrong end of the leash, she was a dreamer. And a little schemer. Hmm. I thought he might live in a dog's life. But when he'd hear the bell for school, Start one day he says, I'll take a chance. Quit his age for a therapist. In a glance, school becomes his favorite pastime. I have buried a bone for the last time. He said, I want to be a boy. Ooh, he's a old bird just being rogue. I got to be a boy. Yes. We suggest that's going to be a boy. Out. He's a regular Einstein, and Leonard is treading a fine line. Why can't I be a normal kid like any other? Can't do the box, listen to my back. I wanna be a boy. I got his collar, no. now he's a scholar. I gotta be a boy. Oh, his power puff's gonna be a boy. I do not wish to be a dog. Now this doll's who's ready for trouble. I gotta be a boy. Oh, 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 he's not his breath, but you can't bet. He's too his breath, he's gonna be a boy. We'll be right back. Oh, mama. But first, here's the answer to what you think. Let's get back Hi, guys. to more Teacher's Pet right here at Tune. not Mr. Worry Pants. At school, I'm not Mommy. I'm just Mrs. Helperman, your fourth grade teacher. And I'm just Leonard Helperman. <clears throat> Class dork. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Spot. <sighs> but even dog breath and slobber kisses can't help me today. This is gonna be the crummiest year ever. Boy, I wish I could stay home like you, Spot. Stay home like me? Are you insane, boy? Would that I could go to school like you. What wouldn't I give to breathe in the smell of a freshly sharpened pencil? To thrill to the crack of the binding of a math book being opened for the first time? To... Cut it out, Spot. That's gross. To walk down the hallowed halls of learning in brand new sneakers that have yet to see the light of day. But no, I'm a dog. I stay home and bite my buttocks. Surprise, Han, for the first day of school! <laughs> a purple bunny backpack? You think Tyler, Taylor, or Trevor will be caught dead wearing a purple bunny backpack? I thought, I thought it would be special. I don't want to be special, Mom. I just want to be normal. I just want to fit in. Okay, well, if it makes you more comfy, just use your old backpack, Doodlebug. And don't call me Doodlebug! Oh, right. I, uh, I meant dude. <laughs> I like your dress. Hi, Leonard. <gasps> Hi, Spot! Yes! Oh, what a good boy! Mm -hmm. yes, what a good That's good a dog. really pretty dress. Oh, it's the nicest dress I ever saw on you. Oh, you're the best doggy in the whole world. Yeah, she's the greatest. Go home, Spot! <laughs> Sorry, Bella. Dogs can't come to school. Aw, poor little guy. Bet he wishes he could. Hmm. If only you knew how much. Oh, if only I'd been born a kid instead of a stupid, slobbering dog. Oh, Spot. I can't understand you at all. I just feel so cheated by fate! He means he can't understand you with that stupid tennis ball in your mouth, dummy! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Isn't that just the story of my life? A ball in my mouth instead of a book in my hand. <laughs> Filthy, nasty habit. You don't know where that ball's been! 
pretty boy does have a point. It could be crawling with outdoor cooties. And the Lord only knows if your vaccinations are current. Oh, this is bad. It's very bad. What difference does it make whether I live or die from old tennis ball germs? If the rest of my life is to be spent on a pile of dirty clothes, trapped between these walls, waiting for the people to come home. Did they feed him this morning? Wait a minute. Who says I have to live like this? Why must I settle? Where is it written that I have to suffer my days? Lying on a pile of cast-off dirty clothes. In the doggy handbook, Momo, chapter one, right after scratch the door to get out. No, don't you see? This is my destiny. I was the runt of the litter, abandoned by a cruel pet store owner before my eyes even turned brown. But a kindly fourth grade class on a field trip rescued me and took me into the bosom of their classroom. Oh, how I yearn for that golden puppyhood. It's been my lifelong dream to return. What's he talking about? What's he doing? I am going to school. Gasp! Out there, you can't. Oh, can't I? Hey, what's up? Look at that weird kid running on all fours. Now I've seen everything. Not here. Not now. Are you okay, kid? I, 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 I'll be fine. Uh, the color of it just shocked me, that's all. Yeah, it's yellow, all right. Well, see you later. <laughs> see you later. I'm a boy, not a dog. A boy, not a dog. Don't blow it now. They wouldn't understand. <gasps> <laughs> What's your problem? fourth grader y y yes then you're supposed to be in this class what's your name spot did you say scott uh yeah that's a good boy's name uh-huh and what's your last name scott the last name uh, uh give me a second um uh, lead ready number two. Oh, the second yeah yeah, that's what I meant. Well, everyone, say hello to your new classmate, Scott Ledready, the second. Hi, Scott. Hi, guys. Ooh, for Micah. Cool purple bunny backpack. Darn. Boys and girls, please take out your... Adventures in math books. <laughs> Today we begin long division. Long division. Ooh, not just division, but long division. First participles, now this. <laughs> what a day. Good morning, boys and girls. I just wanted to snap in and welcome you to the, uh, the, um... Um, fourth grade, Principal Strickler. The fourth grade! Ah, uh, yes, I remember the fourth grade. That was the year some irresponsible child violated school policy and brought a cute new 
puppy in for show and tell. And do you know what happened? It bit off half my thumb! I hate dogs! Uh, this world would be a better place if they were all just kitty cats. Am I right, young man? Right! What's this? The loop smells a dog. Nice, nice. I have a dog at home. Maybe she smells him on my clothes. Yes, that must be it. Next time, wash your clothes better. And whatever you do, make sure that dog stays home and never comes to school. Right. Good. Come on, petite. Let's go next door and welcome the, um, uh... Fifth grade, Principal Strickler. Fifth grade! <laughs> ah, yes, I remember the fifth grade. Don't get me started. We'll be right back. Oh, mama! With more Teacher's Pet at Toon Disney. Let's get back... I die. ...to more Teacher's Pet right here at Toon. Now... Who can tell me what this word means? Okay, um... Well, I know that there is at least one very, very smart boy here who can give us a definition because he learned it at home, right? Democracy? A form of government in which the power is granted to the people, born in ancient Greece and adopted by our bewigged founding fathers of the Second Continental Congress on a muggy July 4th in Philadelphia, PA, 1776. That new kid's gonna really take the pressure off us. Cool. Wow, Scott, you're really smart. Oh, I knew that. I just didn't want to show off. Oh, an excellent answer, Scott. You may sit. Okay, now, as a part of our unit on democracy, we are going to hold our very own election. Yay! <clears throat> okay, then. Um, so, whoever wants to run for class president, you may nominate yourself by writing your name on the chalkboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> we call him that because he's so disgusting. Ian, uh, chalk is for writing, not eating. Oh, 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 but it's got secret ingredients from the deep underlayers of the Brazilian rainforest. <laughs> Want some? <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> anyone else? Would anyone else like to run? Oh, great. Now she expects me to put my name up, and then everyone's gonna feel like they have to vote for me because my mom's the teacher, and, and big deal. I'll win against Ian Mazzalusky. <laughs> well, super de duper, we have another candidate. New kid, new kid, new kid, new kid, new kid. Boy, he's got guts. And on his first new day, kid. too. New kid, 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 Hey, what's going on? Deal. My dog can do the same thing. I know who you are, and I know why you can leap five feet in the air and catch a frizzy with your teeth. I know why you have a purple bunny backpack. Yes, Leonard, it's true. You're from the alternative school. No, Leonard, I'm... Admit it! Huh? What's this? What? Helperman? What have you done with my dog? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Leonard. I am your dog. What's up? 
Nothing. Just a bad reaction to the uh, cafeteria's turkey chili nachos. <laughs> you might want to leave, guys. It could get ugly. Later, dudes! You... you can talk. Yes, I can, Leonard. How long? The whole time. And Pretty Boy, Mr. Jolly? Mm-hmm, all of us. This is too weird. Look, no one else needs to know. Well, of course no one can know. Are you kidding? Jeez, if I thought being the teacher's son made me a freak. You have to go. You have to go home right now. What? Before spelling? Are you out of your mind? You can't stay here. You're... you're a dog. I do not wish to be a dog. It's what you are. I expected this from the other pets, but not from you. No, Leonard. I have finally found my place in the world. I am staying at school. I am staying in the fourth grade. And what's more, by this time tomorrow, I will be president of our class. Oh, no. No. You can't run. If you're president, I'll never get you to go home. Precisely. Okay, that's it. I'm through trying to reason with my dog. I know what I have to do. Oh, I am so proud of my Edda Widow candidate. Oh, ho, ho. Mom, <laughs> not at school. I've got to win this thing. I've got to beat that dog. Leonard, that's no way to talk about your fellow office seeker. All right, I can stomach the Mary's Lamb routine. You follow him to school one day, yada yada, but running against your master for president, that's way over the line! Yes, it's bad karma spot. Oh, dear, oh, me, you're going against nature. Nature invented the flea. <sighs> what care I for nature? You're a real piece of work. And so, if you elect me, Leonard Helperman, I promise I will be a good president. <sighs> Politics is not for wimps. I need a drink. Oh, chocolate milk. Leonard! <laughs> I, I was getting a glass. Well, I think you better feed your dog. Oh, look how hungry he is. <laughs> no, no! My speech. Bad boy, out! Out! Perhaps you should have gone to the pain of memorizing it, like I did. You need a leader. Someone who dares to think outside the box, color outside the lines. Someone who, when others say, I can't, can say, in the words of the great Sammy Davis Jr., Yes, I can! You need a, a kid like you. A, a normal, regular kid. Who does normal, regular kid stuff. Like a, a normal, regular kid. <laughs> you need someone who can get rid of these yuck glue sticks and bring back good old-fashioned paste and pots. <laughs> Something delightful. One for Scott, one for Leonard, one for Scott, one for Leonard, one for Ian. Paste pots rule, glue sticks drool. I'm sorry, Leonard. I never meant it to come to this. In my heart, I'm totally loyal. You'll always be my master. I'll never heal for another. But this was... Destiny. No hard feelings. Have a grape. <laughs> See, there are some things only humans should attempt. I want you boys to know that just by running, you're all winners. But... Our new class president, by a single vote, is... Me, me, me. Me, me, me. <laughs> Ian Wazalewski! Face patrol! Clouch destroy!
Now, as president, Ian, your special responsibilities will include cleaning the chalkboard, emptying the pencil sharpener, and sorting the recycling every day. Ooh. Hi, loser. And I say that with the self-mocking good nature of a fellow loser. I know that. Loser. Hey, when you say it, it hurts. You know, that's the stupidest looking backpack ever. Really? Leslie seems to like it. You know, you really would be better off just staying home and being a dog. Is that what you want, Leonard? Well... Knowing how much I have treasured every moment of these two days, the pain and the joy, the adulation and the rejection. All right, all right, I get it. The turkey chili nachos and the canned peaches in heavy syrup. Oh, mama. Okay, you can keep going to school. Oh, I can. Hooray. I am so happy. I am so happy. Oh, you'll never regret it, Leonard. It's going to be wonderful. You and me together at last, like we were always meant to be. But you got to be cool, okay? No more hot dogging. Absolutely agree. Hey, did you hear I'm going out with the soccer team? Ooh, I hope to be captain. That's way better than class president. Everyone knows the captain of the soccer team. Ooh, ooh, ooh! And how about a newspaper, huh? If I started one, I could be editor. That's the way you sway the unwashed masses. Uh, we can talk about it when I walk here tonight. Uh, we're almost home. Oh, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Good dog. We'll be right back. Oh, mama! With more Teacher's Pet at Toon Disney. Let's get back Hi, guys. to more Teacher's Pet right here at Toon. Hey, you know, Scott is one smart dog, but you guys, now that's some serious brain power. Oh, yeah, absolutely agree. Yep, aren't they something? So you guys at home, keep watching Teacher's Pet, and don't forget to go to ToonDisney.com with your parents okay, and tell Scott what you think. Now get ready for House of Mouse, right here at Toon.